It's the last week of the Spring Into Clean collaboration and in this video I'm going to show you how to clean and condition a leather sofa. So let's get it started. Welcome to Spring Into Clean and for those of you that follow me know that I typically follow the Fly Lady cleaning system so I don't do spring cleaning per se but there are those seasonal task that I only do a couple of times of year and one of them is to clean this leather sofa so that is the thing that I'm working on today so I'm looking at zone 5 family room living room and the task is clean the leather sofa so the first thing I'm going to do is give it a good vacuuming take the pillows off vacuum the top and bottom and then I will vacuum around the edges and probably I'll need to take a cloth even to really get into these edges here. And then once that's done, I'll wipe it down with some lemon oil. So granted, I haven't taken these pillows off to clean this sofa before, but I didn't expect this. There's nobody here most of the time but me and my husband. So how did all of these crumbs and things get under here? Well, I guess it's a good thing that this is what I picked to do for my zone work this week. To dust this off with a little microfiber cloth and then once I get them all dusted and if I need to use any vinegar and water to clean any spots I'll do that and then once it dries I'll condition it with lemon oil. There's something sticky right there so I'm going to spray it with just a little bit of vinegar, water, and lemon oil. This video is actually part of a collaboration where I pulled together 10 homemakers, different seasons of life, but homemakers all, to share with you how they're getting their spring cleaning started. So be sure to check out the playlist in the description box so you can see what each of them have for you. As expected, the top cushions are a lot cleaner than the bottom cushions. I find there's more grit in the, the little creases and crevices on the bottom cushions. So I'm going to need to take a little bit of that vinegar water and lemon oil to clean out those edges and uh, let that dry. I did try to go along those edges with the vacuum edge cleaner and I got out quite a bit but there's still some little grit down in there that I'm going to need to wipe out with some cleaning solution. So I'll be getting to that. Think of this as I'm detailing the sofa. Now I'm just going to wipe the sofa down with some lemon oil. 
And I'm going to start here at the back and then get all of this part done before I put the cushions on. And try not to get my cloth in the Velcro. This video is brought to you by the patrons of Apron Diva, and I appreciate all of the support of those of you who pick up something from the store. To visit Apron Diva, go to www.aprondiva.com. Getting behind this sofa is more than a notion, and I want to begin to tell you what's on the floor back here. So I will be getting out my vacuum cleaner. Oh, but this is day two, so I'm coming back to finish up the job. So what I've got to do today is just to wipe down the cushions and all that with a clean white cotton cloth just to make sure any residual oil has been wiped off and then I'm putting the conditioner on the back. Now all I need to do is just wipe it off with a dry cloth. These cloths that I'm using are called Clean Life. They're multi-purpose cleaning cloths and you get two in a pack, but they're supposed to be ideal for wood, glass, leather, electronics, and also either wet or dry, and they're really working out nicely with this leather. I used one to put the oil on, and I'm using one to take it off. I will say that I'm really glad I had my Dyson stick vacuum to help me get this sofa cleaned up. I'll put a link in the description box just in case you're interested in checking it out. Well, the sofa really turned out nicely. 
My husband said it looked like it was brand new and it really did turn out nicely. The lemon oil did the trick. I also took the time to vacuum out those chairs and then uh, put a little bit of lemon oil on the leather portions of those as well. So I won't be doing this again, at least until fall. And in case you were wondering, this particular apron is the Korean style kitchen apron. I really like the way it just really fully covers me when I'm doing some work. And I certainly didn't want to get any oil on my dress. So this was the perfect apron for that. And you can find it in the Apron Diva Apron Shop. And I will link that in the description box. To see more episodes of Spring in the Clean, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out the playlist for this week's episodes of Spring Into Clean. And I will see you next time.